Yeah. First practice back, how does it feel to be back on the field? It feels good to be back with the guys, man. Uh, you know, we put in a lot of work just to do this, so it's good to get some reps and get the feeling of football again. Did it eat at you just the, the weight to get out there first practice? Yeah, yeah especially me. You know, they kind of had to, you know, tone me down because I'm a guy that likes to just go, go, go. But, uh, you know, getting the mental reps are just as important. So <laughs> it's nice to be back, and it's just a blessing to, you know, have the legs back. I feel really good. Um, you know, that's one thing that we did a really good job of is making sure that, you know, longevity wise, my, my lungs were there, but as well as uh, being able to sustain my legs. So I feel good. You were clear with Lockett during practice and see you come there on the sideline. We're, we're kind of mentioned it was really hard not to be able to see you with these Absolutely. Especially just because I like to uh, be there and, you know, be energy for my guys. Um, you know, so being on the sideline, you, you can only do so much, but being a part of it is something completely different. So it's a blessing to be back, and uh, I'm just excited for what we can do this year. When did the hamstring injury take place? Um, so it happened right after OTAs. Um, and then, you know, we rehab and I started doing really well. Um, you know, they didn't want to rush me back. And we've been doing a good job of making sure that the plan was to, you know, go forward and keep climbing up and not have any setbacks. So, you know, we just were really smart about it and made sure that I was doing everything that I could to prepare myself for what's about to happen next. You talked about how it's sort of a newer position for you. You feel like you in some like catch up mode now just to get the reps in to catch up to it? No, I don't feel like that at all. I think it's because I've been engaged mentally. Um, you know, it's completely different when you get out there and play, but because of OTAs, I had that time to, you know, get a good solid foundation of where I was and, you know, um, you know, learning with the coaches and making sure that I knew what I was doing when I came back was it was almost like, you know, riding a bike kinda. How do you feel right now physically or, or is it just like another step in the process of just coming back? I felt really good, honestly. Um, you know, I think that nothing will prepare you for football other than playing the sport. So, of course, you get a little bit of, you know, that, dang, I'm kind of tired. But at the same time, um, it, I felt really good. I didn't really get too fatigued at all. What's it like to come back one day and then your joint practices are here? You getting amped for that? Right? I know. I'm excited, man. Uh, you know, we got to make sure that we take care of our bodies. And, uh, you know, we like to say we, we don't let nobody come up in here and, and take over our place. Our place. So uh, we got to make sure that we do everything we can to prepare for tomorrow and the next day. Coming on the other side of the ball, what are you seeing from Anthony Richardson? QB1 now, but just his leadership, his presence. He's a good leader. I think that he's just getting comfortable, um, you know, getting to know him. He's a good, humble dude, and uh, I'm just excited for what he can do. He can do everything, but it's just in terms of when he makes those plays. So now we're just excited to watch him just let it loose. What have you noticed out of, uh, out of Nick Cross, the, the opportunity he's gotten to play a little bit more in that position? Nick's awesome, man. Um, he he kind of was in the same situation as I was, just learning every position other than just strong safety. And I think that that'll help him play and understand when he can make plays, just understanding the defense as a whole. And so uh, I'm really excited for him, and he's done a really good job, and he's grown a lot. So it's it's really good to see 20 out there. Julian, how has uh, how has Anthony kind of uh, gained the confidence of veteran players like yourself? I mean, just even though he's just such a young guy. I think that he just knows that we have his back, man. Um, because he is a young guy, he just got to know that, you know, you, we're going to make mistakes. Mistakes happen, but it's just what we do after that. So um, I think that him knowing that we'll be there regardless of the mistake and we're just here as long as he continues to keep his head in the game and next play, next play, he'll be fine. Everybody knows that you're a very vocal guy. So how important is it for you to be vocal and to communicate with your corners, especially because a lot of them are getting their first chance at starting? Exactly like you said, because they are, you know, um, a little bit inexperienced in that area, I have to be more vocal and I have to let them know certain things so that um, it makes their RPMs, we like to say, slow down. Um, so I, I, I do everything that I can to take everything in and then let guys know, hey, this is coming, watch out for this, uh, just because it helps them and it slows it down for them.